It is the 10th of the 8th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Well, I'm going to start over in earthchangescott.net tonight. Um, they have a story, thousands of famine victims in Somalia abandoning their farms. A senior UN official says thousands of people in famine-stricken Somalia are abandoning, abandoning their farms in search of assistance. The Food and Agricultural Organization representative for Kenya and Somalia warns of this mass movement risks overwhelming international aid efforts and uh, says the FAO is taking measures to try to keep people from leaving their land. So they're going to force the people to stay on their land to starve. I was seeing some reports on mainstream news uh, that they've got the, the wherewithal to bring 1.6 million people one day supply of food and uh, there are over 15 million people at risk. So uh, the situation is very drastic in um, Africa right now. And no telling what they're going to do. Um, they got another fear piece. Will the planet mimic the fate of Easter Island? And if you know anything about Eastern Island, uh, that's where the natives cut down all the trees and destroyed all the, um, the habitat and were forced to leave and or starve to death um, hundreds of years ago. And, uh, and again, this is um, another story to get you to pay your carbon tax, which is complete and total bullshit. New eruption discovered at undersea volcano after successfully forecasting the event. Now this is off the coast of Oregon. A team of scientists just discovered a new eruption of Axial Seamount, an undersea volcano located about 250 miles off the Oregon coast, and one of the most active and intensely studied seamounts in the world. And uh, they go into detail on how they... Oh, it's a good read. You might want to check it out. Japan government prepares to flee Tokyo. And I will cover that uh, more in depth on my radio, radiation um, story um, video later. Massive Japan quake even rattled upper atmosphere. Uh, the giant quake that struck Japan this year not only shook the earth, but also rattled the highest layer of the atmosphere, scientists find. And a new research could lead to a new type of early warning system for devastating tsunamis and earthquakes. Uh, let's only hope. Alaska, U.S. orange goo mystery solved after it invaded from skies in one of the world's most re remote spots. Now apparently this orange colored gook got all over the place in the rivers. I mean it was just everywhere. And uh, they discovered that these are eggs of an unknown creature, and they're sending it off to study. And uh, with all the radioactivity in the air and uh, other things up in the Elastic Alaska zone, um, that's a serious um, heads up for sure. Um, they say the radioactivity affects the, the egg-bearing creatures first, and uh, no telling what, what the heck's going on up there right now. But, uh, of course, they got pictures and videos, and uh, I believe Mary Greeley put a video out on this. I will attach it below. Uh, more extreme weather in store for across the United States. And, of course, it's summertime, and they're, they're going on about the extreme heat and drought, 110, 115 degree Fahrenheit uh, with humidity. Uh, heat indexes into the, the really dangerous, dangerous areas uh, along a lot of the United States. And uh, it's cooled off here in Des Moines, but uh, we're definitely starting to see some rain. And uh, I might just go hiking again here shortly. Um, again, when I find time, I'll bring my video camera out. Large variations in Arctic sea ice. And for the last 10,000 years, summer sea ice in the Arctic Ocean have been far from constant. For several thousands of years, there was much less sea ice in the Arctic Ocean, probably less than half the current amounts. Uh, this is indicated by a new finding by the Danish National Research Foundation for Geonetics at the University of Copenhagen, the results of the study to be published in the Journal of Science. And, of course, uh, I'm sure these guys are into the greenhouse gases and how it's all your fault and uh, you need to pay taxes. Um, but um, 
interesting. And uh, here's another sign, um, Muir, M-U-R-R-E, seabird chicks hatch for the first time in a hundred years on the Channel Islands. This is off the coast of California. And um, this year researchers from the U.S. Geological Survey say in national parks discovered that California common Muir chicks had hatched on the Channel Island for the first time since 1912. And uh, that's definitely some good news. Iceland, a Noclucent masterpiece over, and they're talking about the Noclucent clouds in Iceland and uh, how this geomagnetic situation is going on. We've really got some very um, bright and electrifying skies at night in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, it's been going on for quite a bit. Over to the Extinction Protocol. Uh, they got a pretty cool video up here of a terrified tourist hit by falling glacier on Tracy Arm Ford in Alaska. And uh, of course this is one of them sightseeing tour boats and the glaciers are falling off into the ocean and it shows actual chunks like hitting the boat and one woman falls and breaks her leg. Um, it's a pretty crazy adventure out there for them. Uh, story on the San Andreas agitation noted in recent flurry of tremors. A very active area, of course. Uh, they've got the massive uh, undersea volcanic eruption found off the Oregon coast. And Magma Plume report a barometer of planet indicates Earth changes are accelerating. Now, this story kind of covers how um, volcanoes around the world are, are, are swelling their magna flows and, and actually erupting and that kind of thing and they have some volcanoes picked out but not all the volcanoes that have been going on um, like deep plumes and shallow plumes of uh, lava. X-class solar flare um, 6.9 I believe it is it's a fairly strong X-class solar flare um, shot out from the sun today. They say it's not earth directed. Um, it's just a huge, huge, it's like the biggest one yet of this cycle uh, that's gone off so far. And of course they have videos of that. Uh, fresh quakes shakes Sicily's northeast Messina province. And uh, of course this is volcanic in the Sicilian island area. Um, there's a lot of activity going on. And uh, further UK riots as violence spreads. London bridges falling down, falling down, falling down. Um, uh, the police have been shooting people, uh, like at least two. I believe the reports are that one of them had a, like a, a starter pistol for a race and that was in a sock. And um, it's just, I, th I think they're trying to agitate what's going on. And League Spinner's talking about, um, like, how some of the locals are asking the Army to come in, and they're, and they're looking for martial law. So, um, heads up in what goes on in London. Uh, I think if things get too out of control here in the United States, uh, it might be uh, something to watch closely on how the, the government takes hold of the situations. Um, especially as it grows to not just London, but cities surrounding the entire British Isle. And over to the Watchers. And of course they've got the largest flare of solar cycle occurred today in X6.9, not Earth directed. And solar cycle 24 and the most powerful so far. So uh, the sun is very active right now. Uh, they found a new field of hydrothermal vents discovered along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge in the Atlantic Ocean. The Irish-led Venture Scientific Expedition aboard the National Research Vessel RV Celtic Explorer has discovered a previously uncharted field of hydrothermal vents along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, uh, the first to be explored north of the Azores. And uh, this is ongoing of the Earth changes and that Mid-Atlantic Ridge is a very active area. And... Uh, something to pay attention to, especially the Iceland area. Very, very crazy right now. Uh, Indonesia, volcano, Mount Karangatang, 
unleashes a fresh burst, a volcano that has been spewing lava and clouds searing gas high into the air, let out a new powerful burst on Monday, sending panicked villagers streaming down the sides of the mountain. And NO, yeah, the NOAA's Junau Lam Lab determines mysterious orange goo is mass of microscopic eggs of unknown species. And again, um, with all the radioactivity in the northern hemisphere right now, uh, there's no telling um, what exactly is going on. And that or they're not saying. And where was that other story at? Um, tropical storm um, nears the coast of China. Toxic spill averted as tropical storm nears China. 20 meter high waves um, spawn tropical storm. Muifa off the coast of northern uh, province broke a dike in an industrial zone in the city of Delan Monday morning threatening to hit the Fujia chemical plant just 50 meters behind the dike and of course it's just make a humongous mess um, because of natural disasters happening and a story about anti-proton rings found around the Earth's outer magnetic sphere and how we can use it as fuel for super fast spaceships later on um, kinda crazy read there over to the RSOE. Uh, the, of course, they have the Oregon um, volcano, the the tropical depression that's rolling off the Philippines um, into the Koreas and and off around um, Japan. Flash flooding in Florida and in New Jersey, and these are just ongoing summer thunderstorms, extreme weather, and landslides in the Philippines. And again, they just got done with that tropical depression. They had a volcano eruption in... Here, let me just go over to the other story. Satellite images shows an eruption on, a, on the Alaska volcano. Uh, the story comes out of Anchorage. A volcano on a remote, remote Alaska island has begun erupting, but poses little danger to people or aircraft, officials said on Tuesday. The eruption at Cleveland Volcano is a slow effusion of magma that is forming a lava dome and not an explosive eruption that generates large ass plumes. So we've got another um, volcano going off in Alaska. Be it it's not explosive, it's still building up, you know how volcanoes do. And another story, activity of 18 volcanoes is considered above normal in Indonesia. Jakarta volcano and geological disaster uh, mitigation center chief says 18 volcanoes in Indonesia are dangerous and two of them are on alert. Their status is above normal, he said on Sunday. The most threatening volcanoes are at Mount Lokan in the north Sulawesi and Mount Ibu in North Malaku, which have been emitting hot clouds of ash. Nevertheless, he said the eruptions have not put nearby communities in any danger as yet. The, the eruptions head west, while people mostly live in the east, he said. So a lot of this is going downwind away from people, so uh, they're not evacuating so much. But again, there's 18 volcanoes, act, active volcanoes, uh, going on in Indonesia right now. Again, that's about all I have for you as far as weather-wise today. Uh, 14 minutes, it's a long one. Um, thanks for everybody's support, and enjoy while you can.